It took persuasion in the cancellation of several exercises, but after months of uncertainty, American soldiers are in the Philippines for the Balikatan Exercises, an annual activity that strengthens the ties of the two countries' militaries. In the coastal town of Kasiguran, Aurora, American troops show how they will respond should another big storm, similar or stronger than Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, hit the Philippines. This year's exercises are noticeably scaled down. In October 2016, after all, Duterte said there would be no war games under his term. He threatened to forget an executive agreement that would expand American military presence in the Philippines. The Balikatan this year does not include an exercise that involves training to counter invader on Philippine shores, a potentially touchy event given the ongoing dispute between the Philippines and China over the West Philippine Sea. The change is something military officials, both from the Philippines and the U.S., downplay. We have not downsized. Last year, there were bigger forces because there were multiple events that involved four area commands. I say four area commands. So the participants from these area commands uh, definitely are uh, more. Now we are involving only two area commands, Northern Luzon Command and uh, forces from Central Command. So that uh, explains the reduction in forces because of the involvement of our area commands. And by the way, just to continue with that, uh, it is what we do as a military is always dictated by guidance from our political leaders. And we comply with that. And, as, uh, and I, th I believe the U.S. can also speak the same way. Yes, there was no direction to downsize. Nobody told us that there had to be fewer people or it had to be a smaller exercise. It's when the exercise objectives are laid out, taking political direction, and then negotiated at very senior level. It turned out that this Balakatan is, uh, is a little smaller. It's about maybe about two-thirds the size in terms, if you just look at number of people uh, compared to last year. But the sizes of Balakatans change. I mean, next year it may be bigger, it may be the same, maybe smaller. Duterte has promised to forge an independent foreign policy that sees the country moving away from the U.S. and closer to China and Russia. The Philippine president is currently in China to attend a summit that would promote China's massive global trade infrastructure project. It is smaller and much less grand, but the mere presence of U.S. boots on Philippine soil under a Duterte administration is historic. Amid the qualms of the Philippine commander-in-chief, the decades-long treaty allies hope this balikatan won't be the last. Beko Pinrappler, Aurora.